Okay. I'm trying to move this other deck out of the way because I don't know why, but me putting it, trying to put it down, ended up stabbing it into the other deck. I was like, well, okay then. <laughs> you can't have a deck, okay? I'm trying to read. <laughs> okay, thanks a lot, but no thanks. All right, y'all. So let's go ahead and focus on this past energy. So the Knight of Swords. So there was some fast moving energy, some progress being made, but most importantly, some truth being told and being expressed. So things were moving very fast. Um, somebody potential. I don't think it was combative energy or anything, you know, combative energy, anything fighting wise, but this, well, this is fighting for what you believe in. So for those of you that have been dealing with somebody that's very aggressive in how they are communicating or they're very certain and very like non, you know, a very um, non-negotiable with how they're communicating or what they want, what their truth is, then, you know, this could be the, this person automatically, right? Uh, this can also indicate an Aries, sorry, excuse me, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But, you know, these, you know, it doesn't have to be a, you know, it doesn't have to be an air sign. It could be anybody, um, anybody who you feel like has been, you know, pretty, pretty dug on straightforward and, you know, honest about what they believe. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Internally, though, this had a lot to do with the devil. Now, the devil does indicate a, you know, you know, it can be karmic relationships, but most importantly, it can be codependency, addictions, bad habits. So there could be just like an old habit, an old thing that could be coming back up. Um, like it, it could be that somebody was being very open and very clear about what some some old behaviors or some old habits that been coming up. Because uh, the Eight of Pentacles is talking about focusing and working. So there could be like an addiction in regards to work or an addiction to working very hard, being very codependent. And so, you know, the devil also can be read as uh, toxic relationships or toxic situation. But I really feel like with this, you know, the situation here, this is like some old ways of doing something, some old habits, some old situation or some old, you know, obviously old behaviors that has a lot to do with the eight of pentacles which is work it could also be that there's a lot of hard work being put into fixing the situation um, and that's what this person is fighting for fighting for the truth fighting to be more you know to be more authentic with themselves um hmm that's interesting um with that devil card there because with the devil it does talk about like feeling an old way feeling trapped and not feeling open like you can't like you feel like you're stuck in the past year, you felt like you were stuck, but I feel like you were also very, very diligent, very working, or working very hard on something, very focused energy. And it has a lot to do with fighting for your truth and uh, delivering clarity. So, so, so for some of you guys, you guys may have been more open about the things that you were troubling with, you're troubled with when it comes to addictions and it comes to, you know, status quo, uh, or being stuck in a relationship or feeling trapped in some sort of situation. Um, like I said, here we go again with the Eight of Pentacles. That you were working on it. Like there was some sort of work being done, some 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 diligent work being done. It could have been physical work, like actual going to work, but this could also be working on the addictions that you had here. Um, that's which is why you have the card that's talking about fighting. So you may have been fighting off some some old, well, not some old behaviors, with some some attachments that you may have, or some sort of um, addictions of some sort. You're having a, you know, you're going through it right now you went through it anyway and currently in your present moment you have the eight of eight of swords in your in your um emotions right because of the page of page of wands now with the page of wands coming up this is a new adventure a spark of something creative um this is also news but internally you feel like you can't move for some reason like it's honestly like you're trapped in your thoughts when it comes to this when it comes to your emotions it's almost like you're not sure of what's going on uh basically because you know you can't see what's in front of you you have a lot going on you have a lot happening but there's not you know you're not very clear or very certain of what's happening and you feel trapped like you, you don't feel like you're able to make, make them move forward very similar to the past here okay so with that happening you have also the hangman, which is another stuck energy of hangman energy. And it's because of a new perspective that needs to be seen, which you, I feel like has a lot to do with the past. That's very interesting that you have a car that fights for clarity, fights for their truth. And then now externally, you're waiting on a new perspective. You're, you're on hold. Everything's on like it's halted potentially because of this, you know, this new beginning It's very interesting guys. Okay. Now, 
Now, with this with this situation, I'm going to have to pull some clarifiers for it because I'm looking at it. And it's just like trapped, 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 working on it, working on it, and then working on it. Like, there's a lot of action being done about it. But you don't feel like it's hard to com it's like it's hard to communicate with people. It's hard to express yourself because you kind of don't know what's going on yourself. You don't really see what's happening. You can't really communicate that with anybody. So externally, you're waiting on some sort of enlightenment. And it's not it's really weird because the hangman is never distressed. He's never in a struggle. He's never in, in any hurry to get down and get you know keep it moving. He's just sitting there chilling out, waiting for his perspective to come in. And the hangman, the hangman, the page of wands. Is something in regards to some sort of news, some sort of, you know, new adventure. Perhaps that there is this, there's some sort of news that needs to come in um, for you it's in regards to some sort of, you know, enlightenment here. But there's a lot of patience that's coming in here. There's a lot of waiting. Even though there's action being, this is an action oriented card, Page of Wands, new beginnings, everything's starting fresh. There's a lot of holding on. There's a lot of waiting, and it's not be. And it's because you don't see what's going on emotionally. You need that clarity before you can make the necessary moves here, right? That's what it kind of looks like. It's like you're not making any real moves here. Um, but a new beginning has started, and you're not quite sure how you feel about it yet. And it's because of, of all the hard work that you've been putting in. You've been really working at something that made you feel trapped previously, but at least you had like some sort of clue of what it was. And now you really don't know what's going on. So in the, so in the future, you have the two of cups here, which does indicate that meeting someone new, connecting with, you know, connecting with someone. Um, just also you feel the same way about this individual, whoever you meet. And the future also shows the chariot. So there's actually then finally some movement. Of, you know some things moving actually very fast because you know the 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 chariot is is definitely is definitely the opposite of the hangman because there's movement there's free will but you also have well if you're definitely more in control here uh, here than you are here it's very weird it's like it's like externally you can't really do much of anything but wait and see a perspective internally you don't you feel very trapped you don't see you don't see the the way forward you just kind of you know you, you kind of just feel stuck and you feel trapped but there's a new beginning here there's a new new journey potentially or maybe you've got some news that 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 made you feel emotionally trapped but you know externally you're waiting for a new perspective before you can release it and then in the future you meet the individual you meet someone that that can really propel the relationship propel things forward that can move things forward um, however externally you have the four of cups seven the cups excuse me and that seven of cups um, can indicate like different options different things you know different things you can go for what are your dreams and heart's desires or picking exactly what it is what what avenue you're trying to go towards but you have all the control here with the chariot things finally move things finally put you know get pushed forward it's very interesting you have a go 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 but then there's a lot of stop stops and stops like you have stop 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 very interesting aquarius let me go ahead and pull some clarifiers for you because just to kind of get a better idea what's going on all right why is the why does aquarius have the devil in their internal feelings in the past okay some stress nine of swords is coming up with this so or sleepless nights not being able to sleep very well some things are stressing you out um how you handle your stress is because you is by working potentially okay all right what is the eight of swords it also talks about weary, maybe. Maybe you guys have been worried about something. Um, there's something that's been worrying you guys in regards to your relationships or in regards to love. And it's, you know, caused you to work very hard, very diligently in, re in retaliation to how you feel in regards to stress. Oh, in regards to the stress that you may be feeling with this devil energy. You may have, you may feel like you're trapped in a situ situation when it comes to love, but you're not really actually trapped. Obviously, the devil always shows that, right? The chains around their necks, around the necks of the people in the card, they're not truly trapped. They're not, 
they can get out of the situation if they want to. And perhaps it just feels like the, the chains got tighter, maybe. And then, and with the Eight of Pentacles, you had to just kind of keep moving forward, keep making, you know, working hard and getting out of this situation, fighting against, fighting something. What are they? What were they fighting in in the, in the past? There, the Ten of Cups, fighting for the happiness, pi fighting for happiness. So you guys were fighting for a completion of a cycle between, you know, with this Devil energy potentially feeling like you guys were stuck you guys can't really make any progress so you've been making progress though you have been but now why is the eight of swords in their feelings that's interesting the four of pentacles you feel trapped in your situation you feel trapped in your thoughts because of your certain comfort zone potentially or some sort of stability in your relationship like you are very stable you don't see a way out of it. You don't see a way to a way forward. Why is the Page of Swords coming up? There's so much stagnant energy. The Page of Swords. So there is some sort of news, man. There's some sort of news and more sort of communication, and it's something that you've been. It's something that you may receive actually because of all the stagnant energy. You may be receiving some sort of information, or receiving some sort of blunt truth. And it has a lot to do, and it's hard to see a future, or hard to see ahead, or you know, get out of your thoughts right now because you're not the one that's really making the. Oh, the justice card just came out. That's interesting. I wasn't really thinking about anything, but that's very interesting that it comes up. Hmm. I'm just gonna put this back here because I don't. I wasn't thinking about anything in particular with that card, but. It, you know, it's just this card does come up with apologies. It can be apologies, it can be mending or settling, um, putting things to rest. And it could be that you may be, there's some sort of news or some sort of apology that could be coming in. Let's put that there, actually. Some sort of apologies or something that could be coming in, especially if you haven't been able to see a way out of your situation. If you kind of been feeling stuck, kind of been feeling like you're not able to do anything currently. But it's not like it's by, tr like, it's almost like saying like if you guys feel trapped right now perhaps it's it's because you don't believe that there's an option there's something in regards to keep what's there's something that's keeping you from being able to see a path ahead and i th i think it's has a lot to do with stability maybe you don't see that your situation is very stable in the first place so there is hardly well so you're not really sure where to move forward next but and externally, you have the hangman, you're waiting on something, you're waiting on some sort of communication or waiting on some sort of perspective that has a lot to do with an apology so that way you can feel like there is a w option outside of where you are. Because here then you have the two of cups, this communication does end up, you know, connecting you and another person, making some sort of movement forward but then you also still have a decision to make. You still have a lot of choices to make or seeing the situation um, or seeing the situation very closely because it's all great and wonderful in the very beginning, but you're not necessarily sure of if this is something that you want. Interesting, Aquarius. It's a very receiving time with information that's coming in. So. I can understand why you may not feel like there's another there's any options right now. Especially if you've done the work, if you've done everything that you possibly could, and now you're just like, alright, forget it. New love. New love is on its way. Or maybe you don't see that love can happen. New love can happen. So you're kind of comfortable where you are. Kind of comfortable and solid. You maybe have been trapped in a relationship, a toxic relationship for quite a lot while. And it, you but it promoted a lot. You've been fighting for stuff, you've been making things happen, you've been doing you're doing a great job potentially with like your external energy with with, your, with how you felt despite how you felt about relationships and love. Maybe you've been putting in a lot of work and you've been doing some differences with the Ten of Cups, you know, completing a cycle in a really wonderful way, despite what happened in the past. And now you have potentially new love coming in and it's hard for you to see it because you've been comfortable with where you've been all this time, which was doing what you've been doing all this time, working, standing tall, making new boundaries, etc. And now this new beginning could be coming in, but it's going to require you to see see love or see a situation from a new perspective 
for new love to come in because you do have a new relationship coming in. You've connected with someone emotionally, but externally, you have a lot of options. Interesting. Or that you feel love for someone and you're not sure whether or not it's real or not. It's almost like, I don't want to say it's doubting you, doubting your belief, but it, that's what it kind of looks like. That belief, you know, there's a bit of doubt in regards to what you believe. But then the chariot shows up in the future to show that you do actually have the control. Nest, you have the control necessary to make whatever you want happen. It's going to require willpower. 